Good evening, everyone. My name is Sofia Rivera Trujillo, and today I'll be talking about culture bound syndromes and basically what that is exactly. And I'll also be discussing briefly two different examples of culture bound syndromes one from the Western culture and one from the Latin culture. So let's begin. Now, what is a culture bound syndrome? So in order for a syndrome to be considered culture bound, it must meet the criteria of the DSM-5, which states that the syndrome must be a group of psychological symptoms that appear to be greatly influenced by cultural factors and therefore occur far less often or are manifested in highly diverse ways in other cultures. So in simpler terms, this means that if a syndrome is classified as culture bound in regards to a specific culture, it'll either be a super uncommon or unknown syndrome or will be expressed in an entire different form across cultures. So now we're going to start talking about the different examples of culture bound syndromes in different cultures. So to start off, we're going to talk about bulimia. Bulimia is one of the most common eating disorders and is characterized by episodes of binge eating followed by inappropriate response behaviors such as self-induced vomiting, fasting, misuse of laxatives, diuretics, or other medicines or excessive exercise. And this is all in order to obtain a certain body image or appearance in order to, you know, meet standards in a culture or society. And so bulimia, among other eating disorders, is considered to be a culture bound syndrome because it appears to be more prevalent in Western and Western influenced cultures, as seen in the map on the right, than in non-Western cultures due to the constantly changing norms within Western culture. And by norms, I mean things such as beauty standards. Um, as we saw when, you know, Victoria's Secret models were super thin and they were the accepted beauty standard, causing women to feel as though they had to go to extreme lengths in order to look that way so that they could be accepted in society and desired. Um, yeah, so on to the next example. Uh, Ataques de nervios. Ataques de nervios is a Latin culture bound syndrome, mainly seen in the Puerto Rican culture, characterized by a broad array of symptoms, including convulsions, a partial loss of consciousness, heart palpitations, sudden outbursts, numbness, and a sense of heat rising to the head. Uh, cognitive behavioral therapists treat it as a panic disorder as some symptoms do overlap. However, most individuals who experience ataques do not fit the criteria to be diagnosed with panic disorder. And basically, you know, ataques de nervios, you know, typically arise when there's been conflict within, you know, Latin families, which is very common, or just, you know, adversity in general in the Latin community. That is the end of my presentation. I hope you all learned something, you know, learned about two different uh, examples and you learned about culture bound syndromes as a whole. Thank you.